everyone joining the live. Just uh, make yourselves comfortable. Mace is joining. Today we're talking flexibility and fungi. Um, looking forward to bringing Mace's perspectives with herbalism, medicinal mushrooms, and all that jazz. And we're rolling. Mace is just jumping on. Mace. Hey, man. How you doing? Good, man. Good to hear. That. Hello, everyone. Hey, hey. I was just um, introducing you before and um, saying that we'll be talking all things mushrooms, flexibility, herbalism. Mm. Interested to hear what, what you've got um, to say about how these things can help with flexibility. We're here also at the moment having our four week challenge of embodied flexibility. And mm. um, I think that it's important to look at the range of different ways that we can support our bodies, um, not just stretching. Um, Cause uh, yeah, <laughs> like the building blocks of what's happening in our physiology to support the fascia to repair tendons, ligaments, all that good stuff, our organs, it's all interconnected. Um, I'm really looking forward to diving into the new, the revamped um, Embodied Flexibility course. I'm a bit bummed that I couldn't join in on the challenge. It just didn't, didn't line up. But yeah, getting more and more of an interesting relationship with flexibility as always. As you know, I think we've been, been working with you on it probably officially like seven years or something since I came to that first retreat up at your place. Yeah. Yeah, um, cool. Consistently breaking down the, the idea that flexibility is isolated in relaxation and begin and seeing just how much strength is a part of, you know, that, that concept of flexibility. And if you take a step back, you see them merge together and, you know, your capacity to go, you know, have mobility and strength, um, they're just the one thing. I, I imagine. I know that's the world you live in, and you're like, I know, I know the process you've gone down to be able to like go. Right, I need to package this up, and I'm going. Here's a course all about flexibility, and just go into that faith space, knowing that through people going through that process, then come out the the, the, the other end of that, ready to then deepen the relation the the non um the non-reductionist relationship with what it looks like when you you know when you do open up your body in that way so yeah mm. I, like it's 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 fun i, I <laughs> it's like it's a lot of fun you said you know you're looking forward to seeing what what i have to say about it i'm looking forward to it too but it's been you know <laughs> i it's an interesting one i i think tani and i did our first workshop together when we were just kind of, I guess, like courting um, on fascia and just just winged it. And I kind of winged it as well because I don't, I kind of purposely don't go into formal trainings around anatomy. Um, just, I don't know, it just, I've got enough colonizing my mind. I don't need to colonize yeah. my mind with more Grey's anatomy. Even though I find it fascinating, I love hearing Tani talk about it and um, going really deep into it. It's like the nerdery is really, um, really amazing. But I, I, I personally love looking at it from either a classical Taoist, classical Chinese medical perspective where it, it's based on perception and metaphor um, because that's much more real. I'm, I'm able to, people think, oh, you're, you're not in touch with reality if, you, you know, if you're not you know, going and you know, doing it from a Grey's Anatomy perspective, if you're going based, you know, you're relating to, you know, you're relating, relating to flexibility and strength and that relationship through the metaphor of like a sapling you know, or the, you know, the wood element, you know, that, that comes out in the spring. But I kind of think the opposite for me, I'm able to, I'm able to connect way more to my body, therefore reality, when there's a reflection of, you know, how, how nature deals with, how bamboo deals with um, what the concept of flexibility. And then when you watch, you watch flexibility in action in nature, it's impossible to see it in isolation. You, you, you see that the term can, fold away a little bit and just become, oh, actually, I can see the greater purpose and goal that I'm going for here. And therefore, the intention is innate, not a mentally 
derived intention around, you know, getting, I know we talk about this a lot, but, you know, and, but, you know, getting to some, you know, split and then needing to hold on to either, you know, the ideological movement patterns, uh, you know, or, you know, tribe that likes, likes you getting that split so that you can continue to derive yummy accolades for, you know, for gaining something, you know, awesome. And I, 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 I want to I be able to do the splits, but nonetheless, superficial, mostly if just left stranded, rather than let it, you know, go, all right, what's, what's the greater purpose here, purpose here? Why am I doing this for like when I'm 80? Like, what's this mm -hmm. going to really get me for when I'm 80 and 90 mm -hmm. years old? And I guess that's where, that's the first place I like coming at flexibility from because I've got a real strivey mind um, and relationship to movement a lot of the time. And I'll quite often get into, say, doing like, you know, lunge dragon poses in yin. I used to be a yin yoga teacher. You know, it was obviously very, you know, um, attractive to me to be able to get into like high mobility um, states, which was, you know, kind of appropriate at the time because I was naturally very strong and, you know, just naturally doing a lot of, you know, barefoot running and trail running around the place. And I just had a lot of time to fluff around. And so I was just found myself, you know, monkeying around a lot more. I can't just like fall into strength training these days. It, you know, it, it, needs to, it needs to be a little bit more, um, say, yeah, purposeful. My, my lifestyle needs to be a little bit more, have a little bit more, um, intention but yeah i i'm like i'll start that process of going towards a split and you know and then i'm, I'm often like I, I know that i'm judging myself so heavily if i can't you know if i it depends on i always surround myself by really incredible people like i'll surround myself with like you and you know and then i'll and then i'll get like stretch envy because i surround myself with people who are like really going into a craft like a deep craft and and then I'll compare what I should be able to do to them. And then I, but I, I and that's really, a, it's a good strategy to surround yourself with people who are succeeding. They push you. But for me, quite often that'll throw me off my, you know, like motivate my motivation or my capacity. Um, my, maybe my mind isn't, you know, maybe, maybe like that, that, that capacity, my mind isn't able to stay the course and stay consistent and stay connected to my journey with it because, you know, for, you know, I'm not saying this is the case so much anymore, but like historically, it's been really like, oh my God, like if I'm not there and I've been doing this for like seven days and I'm not even close to there, I'll like, you know, I'll just like, you know, just, I don't know, just jump off the bandwagon and start making some excuses. Mm. That's like mm. an extreme, like I guess I'm not saying I'm like that perpetually, but I'm like that. Um, I've got that tendency in, in my like late twenties um, and I guess my early thirties, I was like, you know, it was quite, yeah, it, it was like, it, it, was, it took over really quick. And um, I guess where I've, and, that, and that's like people looking at, you know, that, well, they'll look at me in terms of the way that I interact with herbalism, the way, you know, the, you know, the business, um, you know, where it's the relationship that we've got. It's like, you know, people kind of like getting into it for like the first time and then looking, you know, looking at me and going like, oh, I got, I got well, if I can't be there right now, then what's the mm -hmm. point? I can see it's like, well, yeah, like just like, and I, and I look back, I go far out. And then I, then I try and give myself some perspective. I go, oh my gosh, how much, how much went into my relationship? Oh my God. Like, it's like, you can't even measure it. Um, you know, how much did I put into this business? far out it's 10 years of like slogging um mm. you know what about herbal practice i mean like you know like oh how do i learn you know we get where you're at and learn you know learn that like, that in you know intuitively how to like work with the herbs and like oh geez i have no idea how to map that that was just a <laughs> lot of time and then likewise i look at you know the way that you're you know your the mobility of your spine and you know groin and hips and i'm like Oh, and I can feel, you know, there's, it's a matter of empathy. I can feel, wow, well, look how much went into that. You know, it's mm -hmm. like um, knowing how, for, for me, knowing how, like, with that strength, flexibility um, ties in, especially for me, how much it ties into that, you know, let's just put it in the lens of Taoism for a second, even though you don't need to, you can forget about the word Taoism. It's just you, you'll see that this generally is a pattern, you know, with, the, with that liver, you just start, like, the, 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 the the flexibility and the strength, you know, relationship comes with a lot of work emotionally, a lot of work of relating to what pain is, a lot of work relating to what's, what's a nice amount of, you know, getting uncomfortable for me in life, in my stretching, my practice, 
versus what's really unsustainable, what pace is sustainable, and how do I actually remain harmony between mm -hmm. flexibility and strength or yin and yang, which are ultimately one, one thing. We just hone into the lens of yin and yang. We hone into, we hone into the, you know, the, 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 the concept of flexibility and, um, and strength. And so I look at you where you're at, and I'm like, oh, yeah, wow. Like, that's like, in, in like you know, um, non-measurable because you're working, you know, you, 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 you've been working on it. You had such a focus on, on that and going down that rabbit hole that you're not just doing it in practice. You're doing it when you're, you know, when you're working, when you're sitting, when you're in a relationship, it all kind of ties in to where you mm. found your harmony. And it is really unique. And so that's, the, that's like probably where I wanted to start with from my interpretation. And, you know, that does tie into mm -hmm. herbalism a lot because the herbalism, I can give you a few herbs that herbs are a funny one with flexibility. It's, an, it's a pretty obvious one that, you know, that's like if I'm just going like, hey, everybody take this and your split will go from <laughs> here to here. Like that's an <laughs> obvious like crock of shit. You know what I mean? Like, and totally. I think, it, and yeah. And like, and so you'll see most of the herbs and supplements being sold are often being sold in conjunction with like a yin yoga sequence course or like a course like yours, which is, is probably, it's a good, it's a good place to be because, um, the herbs will support you in the processing and harmonization of chi. And as well, the, the, the where that kind of comes back to, if I go a little bit esoteric now, if you go and hang out with yin yoga people, you know, or if you go hang out with people who value a particular um, uh, ratio lots, of like strength of yeah like the Edo yeah. portal community who, who yeah. will go at it from like a little more of a militant style um or if you go to say you know that strength capacity if you you know if it's people just say like who are like really dying into power lifting with a little bit of like maybe their power lifting combo with like you know long you know like endurance kind of running that so there's all these different like ways of approaching it and most people have little schools and ways mm -hmm. of doing it um you have your own school and i've seen you also navigate the space where it's like this is in support of your unique combination of the ways that you want to interact with the world um mm -hmm. which is powerful because when without knowing it if you don't maintain harmony of the flow and cultivation of liver yin and liver yang chi, um, if you don't bring them into harmony together in correlation to what's going to be best for you, ultimately, when we look at what the liver is about, being able to stand strong like a general of an army and be very practical in creating a, um, a plan for where, what, you know, what campaigns we're going to be doing for this, you know, this spring, summer, year looking at how much we've got in the tank look how much money and resources we have look at how you know smart we are in a particular area whether we need to actually gain more skills if we want to the flip the inside of that that um spirit of that liver is the you know looking into the vi envisioning into you know into the future and so people often that that artist visionary they see is being trumped by that practical general within them, but they're denying one side of the coin of themselves. And that beautiful harmonious combination arises because it is, this, it is our liver. Um, it is the, when our liver is flowing freely um, and we've got a safe space within the body, it is that, that spirit and personality of the liver, the hun, that travels through the universe, according to the Taoists, the way they relate to it. You can relate to it in your own way, in, a, in your own psychological Western term way. It, does, it doesn't matter. I, I just, I just, it just this, this philosophy just really tethers me. So I, just, I, I write it and see how much I feel is relevant for me and I see the truth in it for me to an extent. Um, travels through the universe. So in that sense, you go, I'm like, okay, cool. I remember, you know, a little bit of the, the fact that, you know, maybe there's more going on than just my, you know, my shit right here. I can actually see my unique journey um, here. And that's really significant. And, and I can also see it from a bit of a bird's eye view. Um, and so, so on and so forth. You will also see, oh, perhaps, you know, like if you really, if you, if, if it's, if it's um, related for you, if it's, you know, relevant to particular times of life, it's like, and I can almost see past this life and just get a little bit of a sense of it and, and, and before it or just go, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I can see. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can see. I'm going to have to be planning for what I'm like, you know, for 45 or 50 years from now. That's like really, mm. that's some serious shit. And so mm. it's that real, you get to fly above. So mm. that's, 
that's the that's what the the liver the liver chi does and so you can see in that sense it's really one dimensional to just be visioning and you know and feel that romantic artistry of what you would want to see which you'd understand as people go oh my gosh i just want that elegance of being able to like lift my leg up above my head and and you know do a shower like you know go like you know, just like what do you want and we're just like oh i just want to be like you know do like do a oh you know like really like you know and like and shall in it like that like it's just like that's you know that's like mm, it's just so visionary you know it's like <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, um, and so where i was getting to with all those different pockets and tribes and they're moving what you'll see is each of them are kind of cultivating their own very particular flow of yin um yin chi and yang chi um through that liver meridian system and that that especially means the yin is going to bring more of a yielding and a bending and say to the capillaries so uh, mm. bending and you know so that so that the um there's a there's a flow to the blood and the the yang is bringing like a you know like that structure so the flow the, the flow can actually occur and so there mm. needs to be a particular balance um in particular places otherwise too strong like the blood's flowing really strong and gets too hot now i bring some yin in and then that yielding comes and we get we bring a spiraling and some um some more flow so you can cool it and bring that little bit of back that edge that structures the blood mm. as it goes along so you can see if it's like you're doing the power lifting tribe with you know with the you know with the endurance or the triathlon tribe or you know the ashtanga yoga tribe there's mm. very particular movements you're repeating and therefore you'll see a very particular probably sometimes external externally derived combination of um um and cultivation of yin yang liver and and the rest of the body but I'm just going to focus on liver because it's spring and it's correlates to flexibility and it's good for a metaphor like this um mm. and so what you'll then see is a particular um dispositions mm within that tribe and particular ways that their emotions are expressing themselves um mm -hmm. this falls in when you look at chi this falls into you know um radical ideology or even slight ideology and this yeah. is where you actually can see the the talking points um and of of each ideology whether it be movement political dietary doesn't really matter it comes mm -hmm. from because they've gone because you've gone outside of yourself you've mm -hmm. gone to another tribe that has a particular way of thinking same movement stretching particular protocols of how we do cardio how we do strength how we do this mm -hmm. you've stepped out of the natural and you've stepped into the colonial right mm -hmm. so it's a mm -hmm. colonization and a, what yeah. a colonization of yourself is when the chi um within yourself you set your intent on it moving on based on something external that's um that external institution that external ideology and some people mm -hmm. are only slightly in that place um mm -hmm. some people are you know most people are going into that place very heavily um mm -hmm. a lot of people going into that place really heavily around the world at the moment just cuz a lot of people have lived such flabby lives that they've never had like something to live for or you know and so they're getting really swept up you know say whereas me, me and you might have done it early days like you know going hardcore in our you know in our movement dietary spiritual kind of thoughts yeah. and you you fall under the kind of the guru trap or the whatever um so and so in movement it's really funny because you do that to get like flexibility and strength and flexibility especially and you fall into a, like essentially to worshiping like a guru or a particular way of of doing things that doesn't cultivate your own relationship to your body but externally and then that makes you inflexible of the mind very very quickly and so then if you take if you actually as soon as you start evolving and developing because all those in, um, all those experiences are really incredible when we when we fall under the spell of um of an, an ideology or a system too heavily and i think this is becoming quite a trendy kind of like um topic at the moment because we've got so many people engaging with wellness now and mm. so many people are going through this process and then so many people are going through that cathartic like who am i i'm going to be a failure if i start admitting that i actually don't want to do this anymore i don't want to be vegan oh my god carnivore is in the way 
you know, holy shit, maybe it's not Ido Portal, maybe it's not like militant in yoga, you know, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, you know, like ever so many people going through that process that you see a lot of people coming through that other side. The trick is then a lot of people are like, I just listen to my body. It's like, yeah, that's cool. Don't use that as a, as a cop out. Now you need to mm. engage more than you did before because this mm. isn't just a, you don't just get to listen to the body. This is why the, like, I like, the, I, I like, you know, the flex, you know, I like the um, embodied flexibility that I've kind of started working on with you because I can't, you're too, you're too slippery. I'd say you're too greasy, but you're not really greasy, but you're too, you make it too slippery for me to try and like hold on to, to, you know, that this is like, you know, this is the way that I do it. This is the, like, it's all, all the onus comes back on me in mm. terms of like, why am I doing this? You know, mm. there's no, there's like, there's like a well done at the end, but it's like, there's no, there's no end point of like, now that you've got this capacity to like go into that Shaolin stance, there's no like little, little ego claps within within the community for me it's like i'm much more interested in not that reductionist flexibility mm. and this is what i was just saying to you once you do start broadening and you realize that i've only got one little piece of the puzzle here it's like you know i've only gone and like i've got all this other place to explore and i'm and i think i'm a legend because i've explored 200 square meters here but mm. i've you know there's there's almost an infinite plane there for me to go out and have a look at and yet i'm here by patting myself on the back and it's really great to pat ourselves on the back but um when you don't have an ideology to follow and you are challenged to find that upright you becoming upright and becoming determined to know right what you know i really I, I really want to you know have an erectness about about who i am and i want to freely be able to stand walk and run climb against gravity and work with gravity and i want to do so with flow and i have a vision for you know for being you know for when i'm 80 and 90 and having that little bit of extra flow or maybe just getting up and down off the ground but then that, even that becomes like well not enough you know there's an infinite plane why you know why are we why are we doing this so it comes back mm -hmm. to the you know comes back to the um we come back to the liver all right so that point you know that there's when when we are planning you know, when we are when we are planning, we are visioning, and we're not we're not when we're seeing what's that beautiful ratio for us in this year that feel falls into harmony with what's going on in nature around us and with reality of our of our lives around us. All of a sudden, often what might may emerge is patience, and then all of a sudden the virtues can start kind of falling in, and that's what I like when I when I start hitting strides with um with say doing you know like like when I'm on the um the freedom academy and i'm doing you know your like flexibility videos i'm like falling like okay how does this fall into you know the virtues that i'm working on and all of a sudden it's like a lot of the virtues of um patience and and and, and optimism and then like the the, ang the i know that like say the anger that comes up and the frustration that comes up around the fact that i'm not free you know free and flexible and all that now i know that 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 cultivated in with like with that patience will, will really drive the passion of the heart um, and the passion of you know like for me to come on here and I can feel I can feel that the passion is there and I can feel I can feel I'm I'm feeling really passionate about this within you know within myself and for my own journey and I've been doing a lot of work within this within this realm and I'm feeling like the rewards like right now and so then that put that spills over you know to fam your, your family and your partner. And you, you know, you, and your kids, and and then that's like that's how you're like, oh shit, okay. Well, I I I started out just wanting to do the splits, <laughs> and and this is where it leads you. And people, are, and I know people are at different stages of their of their life, but and it's and it's not, this isn't a stagnant way of being. I'm going real for me, right? Stagnant way of thinking. I'm going real high level, but mm. you know. That it's because I can within for me. This is because I can go that high level. I can get perspective of why I'm going to consistently show up in my practice and why, you know, even though maybe I've like I've had times when I've just fallen off the wagon of for like you know a year, two years, you know, for like not you know not showing up like regularly, um, you know, ignoring it, showing up and doing you know like really enjoying strength but not exploring those you know deep mobility patterns and what comes up not going into that you know it's like when simba and Mufasa are out there you know what's that and he's like no that's the what's that shadowy place you know no, that's no, you know that's beyond our kingdom you must never go there it's like all right cool slowly you know slowly going there into the elephant graveyard um that's that, that's 
it's fine because I've got, I've got like, I've, it's not like for me, it's like, it's not too late. You know, I've, I sit around so much now. I'm like running this company. We've got like, you know, we've got 31 staff and there's a mm. lot to do. Tani mm. stepped out, you know, like pretty much completely. Um, you know, we'll just buy some projects. And, um, and it's like, all right, there's a lot, you know, I'm like, that's, that seems like the, you know, for me, the most illogical time that now I would be like, like having some real empathy for myself that I haven't been going hard on my deep mobility training. And then, but, and maybe, you know, it's okay to not do, but rather I feel like, wow, this is about like the perfect time for me to kind of re-engage and start exploring those spaces. Cause I've got so much, I need so much strength and flexibility within my mind with this new era that we're going into new baby. Mm -hmm. I'm like feeling like we're on the precipice of something big and fulfilling the purpose of supporting people through super fees to connect deeply with their body. So they become the primary experts, not, not institutions. I feel, you know, I can feel that passion and I'm planning and I'm organizing and it's like, well, I, I need to be on. My body needs to be on. I need to, And that's, and one thing about, you know, one thing I, I do remember is the power that I feel when I have gone in and explored that, you know, what flexibility is for me. Right, like, mm -hmm. and I, and, I, and what is that? Okay, I expect, I, 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 I'm, I'm exploring that edge, just exploring, not going into superficial. Yes, look how far I am. I've done it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is your work, so you know it. But for everyone listening, that that backing off, it's like it used to be a rule. No, just back off. Go to seventy percent. Okay, cool. Back off and go to seventy percent. And then when you start, when when you get out of that lens of um, that myopic lens of what flexibility is and you start remembering you're in an exploration pattern that exploration mm -hmm. like exploring a terrain when you're at you know when it's three o'clock in the afternoon and shit starts going down in your life or and then you finish a long day at work you know day at work and you know then you I mean you go, you go out and you go down and you got to you know, make sure that you're feeling like really flexible with your kids because they're missing you then you go with your kids and then I'm like you know I've got to you know, I'm still, you know, I've got to go down, you know, like soon and be, you know, be primary carer for, you know, for my mum for a while. It's always tough on me. You know, these are the kinds of things where it starts like, yeah, fuck, I can feel that connection now. And I can feel that relevance. And all of a sudden, it's taken a long time. My practice really been that support for my, my, for my lifestyle. And then life, likewise, my lifestyle and the way that I'm approaching, you know, my, you know, like my relationship with my lover with my business with my kids that feeds into my practice and i go wow i've got all this um, inspiration in my practice of where and to go and explore so yeah that was um i just thought i'd just quickly start there with how i'm relating to flexibility and especially how i i, I can't not give that little foundation if i'm gonna you know if, like especially in Taoism's Dow helped me there but not you know it's just an, it's just relating to the the natural not and you know, like, and not to say that a system isn't isn't natural, but it's very hard. It's very hard. What people, what people, people want to create a system, and often they're thinking these. They're like they're relating to this in the beginning of like you know whether it's movement or flexibility. And there's all this chaos as they as they're getting. Like like the artist, the artist is chaotic and look at the vision. Oh my God, we're going to do this. We're going to create this. And it's like how the, something's expanding, like the universe expanding and there's all this chaos on the edge. And then they go, all right, cool. Now let's package this thing and structure it. And then you package mm -hmm. and structure and that's all well and good. And you'd know this dynamic balance. This is like, this yeah. is the difference between a colonized modern Chinese medicine that is based yes. on reductionism and static chi basically uh, is mm -hmm. your chi static okay do this and make it move is it deficient okay we make it non-deficient you know that's like <laughs> there's no actual um there's no relating to the transformation cycle between mm -hmm. between yin and yang chi which classical mm -hmm. chinese medicine always lived in the perpetual modern chinese medicine says it does and it thinks it does you look at the practice and you're like, you're not being taught it. No mm. one's going back to the classics. You're not being, mm. it's, it's just like, it's a, it's like a, it's like a brand. It's not like, it's not, it's not the essence. And you can see why that is. If you track it back to the fifties, you can see it was literally a, a new medicine that was, um, that was created. But when you, when you go back to the natural and, and you, you know, you, what, what happens? So going back to that structuring of a, of a course, now I want to teach people how to be flexible. I've taken that chaotic and I'm going to structure it. And you go, mm -hmm. 
and mm. then and then and then the world you keep expanding and the world of this keeps expanding and then you're like but hang on but i've already um, this is starting to feel a little stagnant down mm. down down here but you know you know what it's a product it's a good product you know it's like it's like but and you know like i'm just going to leave it leave it like that because it just kind of works you if you if you stay staying exactly where you are in in your message mm. and the way that you're approaching something it doesn't it doesn't work because mm. the the universe keeps expanding as do you and it's a very dynamic dance in how to slowly move along and stay in the chaos with an appropriate amount of chaos and slowly bringing structure to that mm. chaos while mm. leaving your tracks behind in highly structured things for people who aren't ready to go near that chaos maybe they're feeling volatile they've gone through a lot they just or they have like a real steel mind which i love those people who are just like oh just give it to me straight i don't want it to be conceptual and don't don't yeah. drag me up there you go up there but leave that behind here so i mean like that's <laughs> i imagine you dance with that consistently uh, yeah totally like it's um uh, you just i uh, first of all I, i'll say that like what i love about you mace is that in in everything and i think this is where we meet in this wonderful space of um taking it beyond the surface and looking at what really kind of makes someone tick and their relationship with the things that they're doing you know whether that is the herbs that you're taking whatever you're putting in your body or the movements that you're doing like it's all in an interrelationship and um mm. yeah just like like this well, the the impetus of, of us connecting today was around like the new course that that has come around and, and it's through embodied flexibility and like I, the first um, version of that came out like nine, about nine years ago, I think. And so, you know, there's been almost 3000 people that have gone through it. And so like, it's, it was very, it would have been easy for me to just go, oh yeah, cool. Like I've got that proof of enough people want it and all that sort of stuff. But there's a part of me that has continued to evolve and, wants to share that and and it's come to that point of like we have created that structure and um flexibility within that so then someone mm -hmm. can look at it and then have that sense of sovereignty in their own decision making process and and like i kind of always look at that and I'm like how do we how do we impart that and not um like put people in like uh confusion and all that sort of stuff it's sort of and it's it, i think it is an art and like having that all right here is the direction that i'm heading and if i get to this point and then i realize oh i've succumbed to my own dogma or the dogma of someone else and i'm realizing that this is no longer working how can i adapt how can i you know it's sort of like um when you're playing a sport with someone and you, you get the read on someone and they're like oh yeah i know they go do one, two, and then you read it and then they're like, oh God, I've got no more tools in my bag. And then they're done. And um, I think mm -hmm. the same, we can do that with ourselves with the way that we relate with our bodies in, in health and in all sorts of ways. And so uh, like, I just love that you're touching upon, this is so much more than just take this herb to improve this aspect of your body. Same as um, what I like to share, do this stretch to get to this goal like yeah these byproducts can happen and it's and it's wonderful yet there's so much more in the 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 way the mind is interacting with it and if we can continue to step out and really have some sort of ability to go into the existential realm with things and mm. and realize that there is no absolutes, you know, um, we, we do have to be um, honoring, I suppose, the natural cycles of life and, and also see how you know, the Western mind wants to colonize things, wants to structure things, wants to package things, wants to, you know, and like, I think that's a wonderful thing about you guys and Superfeast and like, like, you do have packaged products, but on top of it, you bring about education and there's a lot of herbal companies out there that just like take my herb to get this results and um going deeper into that like it 
it's a matter of the heart and mm. it, it takes it takes time it takes work you've dedicated like your life and at least the time that i've known you to your craft and to education not just sharing it out but continuing to explore what drives you and um and seeing yeah, how I mean, yeah. Bringing like it just like I just kind of real like the the the, the companies that that come along, um, and, and like a lot of people you know just really like living within the structured universe. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of and there's a lot of people like me that like living in the the chaos and what's what's evolving and and what's developing. Mm -hmm. And so it's like really great that there a lot of them are there just being a, like a safe space to just be like, what am I getting? What is it doing for me? Give it yeah, give me that. I take that. I get this. Cool. For me, the struggle has been showing my work and then and then really go, coming up with that structure and meeting people in that place in our community as well, which I've gotten mm -hmm. a lot better with. I can now, because I, for some reason, I saw it as being, I don't know why, I, I'm not saying it's logical, but it's been, a, you know, a, like I'm, I'm selling out because mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, but what, what happens if I stay really chaotic, I, I become really confusing with a lot of people who are like, you know, they're you know, for, for the, you know, the best thing for them is just to live within that place that's like, all right, so just, I want the, I want the roadmap. If I start taking these herbs, what am I to expect? Cool, good. I want that explained, you know, explicitly and really clearly. And I don't want all these ifs and buts and maybes, which is, it's really difficult to do, but it was a really good skill because at the same time, that's, I think that's what, I don't know who said it. Is that maybe an Einstein thing that if you can't explain it simply, you don't really understand it at all? Yeah. Um, yeah. Or whatever, whatever it is, you know? You know sort yeah. of it's very Da Vinci-esque, like simplicity. It, it a, maybe it was a Da Vinci. Yeah, anyway, it was one of them. One of the, one of the yeah. genius people. Um, and, and, that's, and that's been, it's probably been my biggest challenge. It's why like, I, I wasn't able to just take my business and in the very beginning and just scale it massively really mm. fast because I needed to go through my own process of how to bridge, bridge those worlds. And it's not even, I'm not even saying I did it for everyone else. Like I'm, it's developed a lot within me. And so I'm really, I kind of really proud of that now. And I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm really, I'm structuring, I'm feeling this desire to structure like crazy. And I think that's why then I can see that correlates to when we talk about practice being disciplined. And you mm. create this discipline and this consistency and this structure and this, this almost like um, predictability. I know mm. what I'm going to be doing, say, in that, you know, I might listen, I still listen to my body, but I know I'm going to show, show up and tune into my body and see what my body desires. I know I'm going to take it in this direction of my, by practicing this direction around, say, you know, stretching, mobility, exploration. Um, so there's that. But then from that discipline, so for me, like from this structure, and I never thought I'd be like a business food, but I'm like loving that part of myself right now in like, in, mm. I'm loving that leadership part more than I ever have. And I'm taking mm. it on more than I ever have. And all of a sudden with those roots in the ground, and so this ties straight into say like a standing meditation or, you know, our practice, you know, our, you know what, all the practices of like, deep roots, I just think about to your standing meditation um, infograph or what, you know, what like a little picture with, as those roots start coming down, because there's consistency, there's like, it's like with a, you know, it's like I got a four year old, I like I try and as much as I want to keep iron, you know, in like Peter Pan, you know, always flying around in the chaos with me, if we like what that, that, un that unhinges her and it's very, it's very, it's obvious very quickly. And as soon as that consistency starts getting brought to a lifestyle, that flow, we know that what's leading, like what this, you know, what's leading on to the next, all of a sudden there's this calmness and this virtuous nature that kind of emerges out of her and, and me. And then but for, for me in business where I'm at right now and say with my practice from that, from that discipline and consistency and that structure that I'm, that I'm bringing, which is, I hate it. I, I got, I, I've not like, in fact, I've, I'm such a, I'm not saying like I'm such a creative, but I, I've for a long time, I've hated it. You know me. I hate it. Like I like, and it's been like pulling teeth. It's been like pulling teeth. It's been like this is not who I am. I'm going against my true nature. You know, all the all the bypass. I've used all the spiritual bypasses. I've used everything, but I've known what my medicine is. I've known, and I can't. You, you know, I love looked. I'm, I'm able to look myself in the mirror and know when I'm bullshitting myself. Um, and you know, and I and I and I was and uh, not nicely bullshitting myself. But now, then you see, you feel that freedom emerge from that you know that process of like of coming in and structuring 
structuring, consistency, and then, and then you, you earn your right to come through and go through that expansion of, and then dive into the chaos and the creativity once more. So mm. really, like, it's like, and that's, and that's what I'm, I'm trying to achieve at Superfeast to, you know, don't, not to be in, like, everyone fulfills their perfect role, but like that, to be able to offer that, like, all right, cool, come and, you know, black and white, I get, I get what I get and bam, like, you know, bam, bam, thank you, man, they can, they can just go off, they can take it, good. But then for those that keep on looking deeper, they're like, holy shit, like this can, I can really go into the, into the weird and wonderful here if I so choose to, and if I don't want to, I just kind of stand back. Um, I'm, I'm going to talk about the herbs quickly if you're all yeah, right yeah. to dive yeah. in there. Green in, yeah. So fascia, we've, um, you know, we've, uh, we've, you've, you've brought up and, and discussed in fascia, um, obviously relates so much to the way that water is held within our body, that real, that fourth phase water, the gel, the, um, the way it's mobilized and moved through the body, the way that, you know, moving through the body, it's I got so much to do with bringing that real deep hydration to the tissues and it's, uh, and it permeates organs. It moves, you know, it, 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 it wrapping the organs, it's wrapping joint cavities, it's moving through joint cavities, it's running in, correlation with tendons and ligaments and so it's it's everywhere and it's our largest mm. organ so next mm. time that you see an influencer going hey guys we're going to be talking about skin brushing because you've got to take care of the skin because it's our largest organ say bullshit <laughs> <laughs> you just got that at influencer school and now you just use it as a talking point and you don't even know no i think it was like two years ago that it was like officially named like an organ um an yes. organ system yes. um so the i um when when you when you when you look into the herbs that are going to regulate the fascia more than more than anything we're straight away going to see it's the medicinal mushrooms and the chi herbs mostly because they are regulating the fluid of the body they're doing mm. so much more but they're regulating the fluid of the body might have something to do with that extracellular fluid and um, that fascia is has got a, a, a correlation to polysaccharides, those long chain sugars, having a lot to do with the formation of that um, of that substance and having a lot to do with the formation of the fascia. And so, mm. back in the day, that's my Western going boom, mushies, fascia, boom, that, you know, like mm. astragalus, um, fascia. But let's just go, let's just like take a broader view and just look at, you know, when you're taking these medicinal mushrooms, they're going, they're going into the spleen and regulating where the water is distributed and re regulating whether we've got excess, excess dampness. And so the mushrooms, as we know, we, they love going into the dampness within nature and transforming mm -hmm. it and turning it into light. And so mm -hmm. there's some mushrooms that are really incredible that, with that, like, so like, you know, turkey tails, cordyceps, poria is absolutely incredible. So if, if as a first step for someone really wanting to, to start nourishing that fascial system within themselves, I'm going to be like, it kind of correlates to what's the biggest organ that's having such a contribution to our health, a massive contribution to, um, to immune health. You know, you're going to see, you're going to see that connection. Like all of a sudden there's like whole mod, you know, modes of, um, of um, healing that are like, you know, endocrine, immune nervous system like they're like you know that's what they're almost saying that's as one system now and you're going to see that the you know the the, the that like scallywag connector that you're going to see is going to be the fascia eventually we know mm. you know that that's where photons travel through the body so it's literally how light is also communi communicating and, and getting distributed and that so uh, has so much to, to do with function and chi and, and so on and so forth and so of course fascia chi mushrooms quite often mo mostly chi herbs and the chi herbs so mm. just aware of time but you know the, for, for people really wanting to if, if you're working generally on you know engaging with your body flexibility strength that interrelationship and that bringing that mobility and that releasing of tension especially if you're working with benny's work you might find that a, a staple might become first taking mushrooms so like mm. from the super feast range, and it's, it's, you, it's, you see, it's the natural thing that people are attracted to first, the mason's mushrooms. Um, mm. If you want capsules, mushroom mate, um, you know, maybe you just want to, you know, maybe you want to hone in on some individuals, you don't really need to, but if you're one of those people, listen, you know, that might, you know, that might be, you know, turkey tail, cordyceps, cordyceps, see how that kind of, you know, how you relate to that. But then the chi herbs, the chi blend, um, especially if you do find that you have a lot of water stagnation, 
And you find like, so see how that relates to, you know, you and your, your movement. See how you're relating to that, you know, that, that stag, or, you know, like it might be different if someone's like feeling like really dry, right? Mm -hmm. The kind of the idea behind these herbs is they're not, we're looking at the f organ function. We're not looking at healing you having an excess of fluid or we're not trying to heal you from, um, from having like, say, a dry spleen. So none of our herbs are, unless you're really ill, like don't get onto the tonic herbs and throw shit at it. Just like, you know, go to your acupuncturist and your practitioner and deal with it specifically. But if it's just mild, you know, you can do, like the, the herbs aren't there to, you know, solve problems. And so they're also there just to bring up, up uh, bring an upping of regulation within like the spleen, um, spleen <clears throat> earth system. So don't have to be particularly worried, but in that beginning, like worried that you're going to throw yourself off in one direction. The other the beautiful thing about tonic herbs is they're so gentle and they're so non-toxic. Yeah. If something does get brought up, most of the time it's going to be a beautiful positive. Other times it might be something like, oh, that's, like, that's something I don't really want. Now you've found out, you've got what herbs am I taking? What type of herbs are they? What generally do, you know, if I've got this deficiency or I've got this like fluidity or dryness, you know, that it's, it's brought this up. It's all of a sudden going to give you direct feedback. It's a direct feedback loop that, ah, there's something going on within my body. You take that to a practitioner or you do your own research. You go, right. My spleen must be like, you know, excessively tan or my, you know, my, my, my say in this instance, my, my, my spleen might be excessively dry. Um, mm. And there was like, you know, so I've kind of pushed it into a direction where that dryness is really starting to show itself. You get an insight on that. You get an insight of like what's, you know, you can start going deep into your organ wheel and your organ system. Use your movement practice as well as your herbal and lifestyle practice to get on top of that. So it's a good feedback mm -hmm. loop. But you're going to mm -hmm. find the staples of, um, are most likely there. Chi, the chi blend, if, you're flu if you've got an excess of fluidity, you know, edemas and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know, inflammation. It's going to mobilize things. Yeah. yeah, it's so good. You get, you get the... the, the the spleen working and you get the lung working your metabolism mm. starts get starts working you start mm. cultivating real good you know chi from goo chi it's called you know from from your food and then that goes and merges with that beautiful chi that you're extracting from your breath i know to relate for it relate to it for, as chi guys you can relate to it as whatever you want you know that's like what are you extracting from that food what are you extracting from that lung but if you Start mm. looking at, you know, when people from a Western perspective are starting to kind of like understand Chinese medicine. Don't have to worry about that too much, but sometimes it's fun. Even though you know it's validated already, you want to validate mm. it in, in yourself first and yeah. then go to Western medicine. This is my recommendation. Some, for some people, it doesn't work. But it, rather than going to Western, like, you know, these um, Daniel Coe's book, he wrote, you know, say that he's got the integrated body or something like that. He also wrote the... Um, spark in the machine really good mm -hmm. book and it's really mm -hmm. good to but it's it's better if you've if you've um if you have uh um activated your faith and knowing that you know of what chi is and the fact that there's a cultivation of chi that can occur within the organs first and experience that then you go and read his like textbook and it starts showing where how western you know um, western anatomy is starting to actually identify where electromagnetic um, charge is cultivated within those five or major organs that the Taoists mm. would talk about. It's like, mm. oh wow, that's interesting, you know. And it can, it can. You don't, you don't fall into the reductionist mindset. It just kind of reiterates what was already there and a belief that was already there. And you can, you know, en hopefully engage further with that. So, the in that sense, those herbs you're cultivating strong um, spleen chi, cultivating strong lung chi. And that's why, you know, the chi herbs are the ones that the athletes are taking more than any. Mm. Um, mm. You know, same like cordyceps is, you know, that's why it's, it is a chi herb and it's a, um, it's, a, uh, it's a kidney herb. So it's a jing herb, but I really like it as a, you know, it's a chi herb because it's a, um, it's an athlete's herb because it's a chi herb. And what does that mean? Athletes, let's get that out. You're going professional at being yourself. So you're all professional athletes. And it'd be nice to see everyone take that on and take that a little bit more seriously. It'd be nice to see everyone, you know, realizing that, you know, the, the, the freedom comes from the discipline. And so, guys, come on. Let's, let's start consistently, you know, daily, having a rest day, whatever. But let's start having a practice consistently. And let's start mm -hmm. really exploring. And it's one thing to, like, you know, get to your mental edge and, 
you know, and then, and then go, no, I'm going to burst, burst through my mental edge and go like David Goggins on it. And that's really useful. But then it's also nice to have a multi, multi-dimensional capacity to move into like, well, what have I just come up against here? You know, what, mm-hmm. what have like in my explorations as, you know, everything that Benny teaches in, in the Freedom Academy and, you know, the tension releasing courses and so on and so forth. I know you have like breaking free from like chronic pain courses and that kind of thing going on. People are experiencing some serious shit, you know? like twisted spines and you had a twisted spine it takes a fucking lot you know you mm. got to show up and you show up yeah. really consistently yeah. and this is this is kind of what you what you will find i like you you won't find as much in um in benny's in benny's community um but you know you'll find in these places where it's just like hey let's just explore everybody and just find there's there is a lacking of the yang to be like mm. come on no 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 that's the, these excuses sorry you're you're going to you know you're you're we're not going to validate those anymore mm. in, in the sense of they're valid that you've got them, but we're not going to validate them to be like what's leading your life and be a, you know, be a, like a chance for you to make those excuses that you don't show up in your practice. And it's yeah. nice. I feel really good saying that because the people that don't need to hear that right now generally aren't listening to a live on a Friday morning, you know, of mm. us talk about this stuff. Everyone who's turning up here, you're going to need this reminder many times in your life. And this isn't a motivational thing. This is a thing that like, stop looking outside to the ideology or the system, you know, use a system like Benny's got that gets you there in the beginning. It's a ladder that can take you up to that beautiful creative chaos where you can actually start going into and going, like, what does my body really need and want? Mm-hmm. Benny's got those courses there to help you cultivate that. So, you know, you start with do the flexibility um, um, challenge at the moment. You can join late. It doesn't matter. You can, you know, yeah. you, can yeah. um, you know, go and do the tension release. If you're stiff, like you need to show the hell up though. And you need to go in and get practical. The general, you need to be able to be erect. You might be strong, but you're not like erect, like a piece of bamboo. I, you know, this is why like, can you, how long can you stand? Can you stand for 15 minutes and deepen into mm-hmm. the earth? And when we push you, that you don't fall over, you know, that might be some like, you know, fun martial arts shit. It's also very practical if you're running a, if you're running a house, you know, if you're, running a business if you're if you're a manager if you're a bartender you know if you're if you're whatever if you're an athlete it really feeds into supporting your lifestyle and because we live in such a synthetic um world it's real like it's it's 100 percent necessary right now um if you're and if you're not being in charge of your calendar and your lifestyle and you're not fleshing that time out for yourself um look i'm and i'm, I'm saying this from someone who it's not natural for me i do not mm-hmm. like that structure, it's very uncomfortable for me, but I do not let my, that, that little opinion about myself, you know, that desire to just stay Peter Pan and always be a kid, grow up, mm-hmm. fucking grow up. Just you know, yeah. you're, you're, like, you, if you go and go through that process, if you listen to this and you, you know, you know, that's you, if you go through that process, go through that process of pulling teeth and experience that structure and just see, as, as you say, you start down a tunnel, but there is a door at the end of a tunnel and you go and you open it and then you close that stage of initiation or growth or exploration or evolution. And then you get to choose, oh, there's a number of, there's a number of like extra doors here and you get to go through them. You get to explore different parts of the terrain. So definitely um, implore everyone to just, just remember that and be very intentional. You can create freedom within your calendar structure and ways for you to, you know, just like you need to start slowly structure, put structure around yourself. Otherwise you'll have a hissy fit and just kick out. And go, like yeah. That. Be, be appropriate, um, but but start it and just and and you and you, and you fail and then you you can just go like, cool. But it just doesn't mean anything if you if you, if you fail and just say it. Yeah. All right, cool. I failed then, and then it's like okay, cool. Learn, do it again. I know that people say that all the time, but I think everyone needs that. Um, and then I just wanted to talk to flexibility quick. So we've talked like the staples we've got there: those the chi chi herbs and the mushrooms. And if anyone is looking at super feast, like Mason's mushrooms, chi blend, really good um, structural support for you, you know, for fascia, right? And then of course, immunologically, nervous system and endocrine. They're the regulators, right? Mushrooms, regulators. I think I did like a full poem about that, um, like I think a couple of months ago on my Instagram, if anyone wants to go see that, there's a picture of regu- like regulators and then I've like altered the words to be mushroom based. The... So like the, the, the Warren G, Warren G. Um, and like yeah, that's right. what I was thinking. That. Do, do, um, do, 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 uh, do. Yeah, I'll like. Uh, anyway, I'll, I might, I might share it. I'll share it up to my stories after this. So mm. um, then, let's actually look at 
those herbs that we're going to be focusing on. Um, I'll, again, I'll probably stick to the super feast range just to not make it con confusing. But the when we when we start looking at flexibility and and be, like the strength or erectness within the body, when we're looking at strength and muscle strength, that's actually correlating to our, our, our digestive system, our spleen. And so we're not really going to go like there right now, but just know that, know that a lot of people say, if you're getting into that, you know, you, you see a lot of people who are like really, you know, yoga, you say like, you know, but, um, naturally flexible and they just stay in that flexibility land rather than like, you know, picking up a kettlebell and pulling themselves up a tree and mobilizing themselves. Yeah. You know, you, 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 can, you can see at some point what they realize is they've probably got bad digestion, um, but they also have poor boundaries and um, a poor capacity to create a bond with, with other mm -hmm. people and boundaries. And that's because that's all spleen, spleen land. So that's, mm -hmm. the, that's where the musculature comes into it. But when, what you need to uh, able to like have that, that strength and that muscle to have something to like kind of bind onto, like that muscle is kind of like a, you know, kind of like a lichen or, you know, like, you know, like a moss kind of around mm -hmm. a tree. What's actually the erectness? That's the wood. And so when we're looking at, First of all, how do we bring that bend in the sapling, in the wood, in the, in the blood vessels through the liver? Well, that, like the liver herbs are a lot of the time mostly, the, the, the tonic ones anyway, are going to be um, a kidney yin, um, I'm sorry, a, a kidney yin and a liver yin. So kidneys are the mother of the liver. So you're going to see they're highly correlated to these beautiful liver herbs like gojis and, and, and shizandras. Let's just focus on those. I won't go too hectic. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, they're, right. they're, re they're like also amazing, also like your goji primary um, mm. in the herb. And so what that does, because we're cultivating the waters. So if we have the waters within the kidneys, when mm. the yang turns that into vapor and the water comes up, we, of course, as the mother of the kidney mother goes up into the, the child liver and we see that we're delivering water, therefore we have a capacity to not become very, you know, really brittle, and we can create you know, through that hydration. We can create that bend. So that's mm. that's where if you are say something like the beauty, um, the beauty blend or shizandra, or if you can just get your hands on like gojis and shizandras and make that make that tea, that's where you can actually start from. And I know I've gone this whole time talking about philosophy, and then we're just getting to herbs at the end. So, but I gotta, you know, I gotta remember that as we've said, people like the practicality and just wanna know what to do. So that would yeah. be the perfect place. And I can feel that's where I'm coming up to. I'm coming up to a few weeks I do every spring where I'm like, all right, I'm on, I'm on the beauty blend and I'll do that for a week or two or, or three weeks. And that's going to bring that yin to the liver system and your capacity to not just be that brittle, you know, that brittle piece of wood, but become more of a sapling, you know, to be able to, mm -hmm. to, be able to move. And that's, you know, and you think spinal waves, spi spinal mobility, you can really mm -hmm. feel that yin and you can feel that need to have, um, to have those waters cultivated, especially in winter and you're on your lifestyle in general. You, you cultivate those waters within the kidneys so that you've actually got something, that wateriness, that wateriness, um, that water chi to then evaporate up and feed all those new visions and inspirations that you're going to be having, right? So that's, mm -hmm. that, that's where it ties in. And then for the yang and actually bringing that erectness and erectness is like, it's one thing, it's like, is it strength? Yeah, but like, you know, look at the standing meditation. Can you when you'll get your erect your capacity to remain erect in your yang your yang liver chi challenged when you stand for 15 minutes in a standing meditation have you got standing meditation videos in the freedom academy yeah yeah we're building a whole new course around it too yeah yeah um so for everyone you'll be able to experience that and you'll be able to experience your your capacity to become erect um and so it's that's a direct correlation to your liver so it's like okay do you have the yang within, you know, the, the, the source of yang within your, within your kidneys? Okay. So that's, you know, but then we, we look at eucomia bark being like the primary yang kidney mm. herb to bring that, to bring that fire into the kidneys so we can move the water within that system and evaporate it up. So those waters, water key life to be used by those other organ systems so that they can derive life. But likewise, you know, goji, is like and, and tissue, but goji primary yin, it's such a powerful kidney and liver tonic. 
Eucomia mm. in Taoism, primary um, kidney yang herb, also incredible liver yang herb uh, correlation, mm. you know? So that, and it's like, and when you look at what Eucomia does, it's like strong bones, ligaments, you know, you know, like mm. tendons, like bang. And you look at the tree, it's like, that's how you want to be. It's like that slightly yielding, yeah. but, you know, it's, it's like really strong, but not muscular strong, it's something else. It's sinew strong. And so, yeah. That's that what difference between like a bodybuilder and like someone who's uh, I sort of think of like a, a Russian uh, Sistema um, practitioner where very unsuspecting and you come into contact with that, that I in my early days of martial arts and you're like, whoa, where does that come from? <laughs> it's like it's under the surface. It's it's in the structure that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Sorry, it's, just just side note, yeah. No, it's not even a side note. It's like the note because ultimately <laughs> we want everyone to here to you know experience, and it's not it's not as you can if you listen. Make sure when you finish this that you share like you share it as an IGTV. That way, yes. I can share it up for everybody. Yeah, but everyone fun. listening, if you go back to the you know to the to the beginning, you'll get the whole context of what we've spoken about. Not creating any specific thing that you are going to be you know but maybe you know you can for yourself you can dangle something for yourself and then don't just keep dangling eat it and then keep on going in the journey and exploring for yourself once, yeah. you know, once you're there but that for you whatever it relates to like it's like when and there's like there's no perfection make sure you don't get you know make sure you you go and through your practice you're looking at that non-stop capacity you know to not judge yourself and not be satisfied with with where you're at and that's that's a dance that's not anything yeah. stagnant that's a that's a dance and that's what you it can is. find within your practice but you also need to go through it and you also yeah. need to keep on going even though you're judging the shit out of yourself anyway you know that but it's kind yeah. of like a like for everyone else but we really it's it's amazing we like implore you to engage and engage for what you know what is that that hidden that hidden strength that capacity to be to be balanced when you know when you look unbalanced or when you're unsuspecting that there's this mm -hmm. power just yielding beneath you or even that may, may, that maybe comes from experiencing the movement that's going on when you're standing still in a in a movement practice and what what about the power that comes about i'm so inflexible it's like yeah great I'm, there's like no such thing just this is a perfect time to explore it's always a perfect time to explore so yeah do it, you know, Flexi you know, doing that flexibility course, I'm like, I highly recommend it, um, whether you're enjoying the challenge or join the, you join the, like I'd recommend everyone join the Freedom Academy. Um, Benny's my, you know, like um, one of my movement mentors um, and dear friend. And it's been, yeah, many, many years. And I'm still my primary resource. I'm thank God you came out with that um, academy because, you know, I just went through a time and I could have ragged on myself. But I was just like, I just wasn't generating my own practice. I just, I was, mm. had so many things swirling around that I, you know, that I needed that place of structure that you've created, as I said. So everyone thinks I'm always up in the chaos. No, I'm only up there creating that in my, my business a lot of the time. But in movement, mm. I, could, I couldn't, I couldn't sustain it. It wasn't sustainable. I needed to go back down into the structured world and just latch on to something for a while and just allow you to, guide me through it and drag me through that so i've been like doing that and i'm looking forward to more of the you know the lead you know the lead kind of classes i guess that you're going to be coming out with because that's mm. i think that's going to be really really useful for me but i really recommend everyone to engage if that's that's all it is it's just engagement mm. you're either engaged or you're not and there's no yeah. judgment or necessity to engage overly intensely or you know too softly or whatever it is but um, mm. I do, I do recommend that you go, you know, because like most people will try and remain excessively comfortable and, you know, just, I just went through your, mm -hmm. um, and I was just doing pancake, but like a yin style pancake oh, yeah. in one of your seven yeah. day things. Like, yeah, yeah. The hip opening challenge. Hip opening yeah. challenge. I was just like looking and I just went to five cause I just wanted pancake. Yeah. Um, yeah. and the, you know, pancakes guys, legs out. On, you know coming forward yeah. and it's like um, it's like absolute weakness of mine but i'm like oh is it mm. no i just don't fucking have a i'm just not down i'm just like i'm just built a particular way and so i just like i really um i really like in, enjoyed doing that but i was just um where was i going i was doing 
I was just doing the pancake. Oh, I can't remember my point, but nonetheless, I was just like, yeah, I um, I was just like, I I need I need the I need I need I need, I need the leading. I need the video right ar around it right yeah. now. So I've been taking advantage. So I recommend everyone get into the Freedom Academy. Um, that's like, yeah, that's my takeaway. I realize we're four minutes over time as well. So I don't know if you want to. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah, well, look, I think yeah, if if you're just seeing this at the end, go back and watch like um. A lot of the things that you started with, Mace, like really bring context to a rich, um, not just practice, but life, <laughs> you know, um, of like we are on a constant journey, like we're, we're always changing, seasons are changing, like our natural world is changing more now than ever, uh, like society is, is rapidly changing. Like I, I feel for myself personally, it's an increasing importance to be able to be supple and adaptive and malleable um and to also then have that structure of like what like who am i like where do where do i fit within all of this so i don't mm -hmm. get swept away by it all and mm -hmm. i just love that you know this all of this comes about when we're talking about the topic of flexibility it's not just do this stretch take that herb it's it's a really it's a self-reflective journey it's it is about engagement of engaging with your own choices discerning and then continuing to refine as you cultivate your own um modus operandi of like the the way you navigate through the chaos and mm -hmm. um yeah I, I just love meeting you at that point mason thank you for for sharing your experiences and wisdom and um yeah hope that everyone can benefit and um yeah, if, you, if you're new to Superfeast, go check out Superfeast. Uh, there's just so much education there that you guys provide. Um, yeah, you you guys got such a wonderful team as well, so I'm sure that people can reach out if they've got questions as well. Yeah, yeah, yes. like re reach yeah. out on, on Superfeast um, uh, Instagram. Yeah. And um, for yeah. everyone who's from my crew um, in here, go and check out movementmonk.xyz um, and um, XYZ, uh, my American, <laughs> XYZ. XYZ. <laughs> X, X, Y, Z. and Z. Um, yeah. And I believe I have a code, I think it's Mason, that you can use when you're, um, yeah. when you're, when you're getting a course or signing up for Freedom we'll Academy. In. I think it may be Mason 10. Oh, Mason. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get clarity on that um, and we'll put it out. I've done that several times. Recently. I'm like, God damn it, I'm the worst influencer ever. <laughs> what is that code? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, um, or just yeah, just just hit, just hit me up, anyone. If you if you if you if you need it, I'll go. I'll go and Mason find it. It's Mason Ten. It is Mason yeah. Ten. Confirming. Oh, Mason Ten. All right, cool. Confirm. Thanks, man. That was efficient. Um, all right, beautiful. We're gonna awesome. jump on and do a podcast for Super Beast yeah. now. Yeah, we're doing a podcast. Um, yeah, thank you guys for joining. Um, if you're interested in body flexibility and becoming a teacher as well, we've got a teacher training coming out, and it's. Yeah, like it's like 10 years in the making. I'm stoked to be sharing and could to contribute to the industry um, of, of movement. And yeah, and looking forward to more conversations with you, Mace. And mm. thanks for sharing your good stuff today. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. What a great chat. What a great opportunity. <laughs> See ya. Thanks, man. Peace. I'll speak to you in a moment. Speak to you in a sec. Bye. Yeah, ciao.